Meghan Markle, 41, has been accused of trying to steal attention from King Charles' coronation on May 6. The Duchess of Sussex has appeared three times in the past week, introducing a TED Talk, going to a Lakers basketball game with Harry, and announcing her partnership with a major Hollywood agency. Royal commentator Dan Whitten believes this PR push from the royal who had a brief hiatus from the media spotlight since the publication of Prince Harry's bombshell memoir, Spare. Whitten compared Meghan's actions to Diana's in an opinion piece on why Meghan's PR stunts are a shameful bid to steal attention from the king in his coronation week. He wrote in the Daily Mail, after months of purposefully shunning the spotlight, allowing her hapless husband Harry to shoulder the backlash against his grotesque and unnecessarily nasty royal shame and tell all spare, the Duchess of Woke has viscerally exploded back into public consciousness, with a three-step campaign seemingly taken straight from the Princess Diana playbook. It seems Meghan strategically timed her almost total disappearance from the spotlight for four months, a lifetime in Californian terms, in order to make maximum impact when she did emerge at this critical juncture. Even the Sussex squad must concede there was absolutely no reason why any of these trio of PR events had to take place in the past week. And there is also no doubt Meghan would have been acutely aware of the attention she would receive by going public after hibernating for such a long time just before a major moment for the British monarchy. Don't miss. Boring Meghan and Harry told to give up and move back to UK, latest, Meghan Markle snubs Met Gala and hunkers down in California, analysis. Harry and Meghan fume as Beatrice and Eugenie plot with Piers Morgan, video, it comes as communities are preparing to celebrate the coronation at more than 3,000 street parties, new analysis shows. Councils in England have approved 3,087 road closures for gatherings marking the royal event, according to figures from road management company One. Network shared with the PA news agency. The parties will cover a total of 263 miles, which is roughly equivalent to the distance from Westminster Abbey, where the coronation ceremony takes place on Saturday, to Land's End in Cornwall. The most popular day for parties over the three-day bank holiday weekend is Sunday, when 62% will take place. Some 27% are planned for Saturday, while just 11% are scheduled for Monday. Hampshire and Kent are in joint first place as the most celebratory counties, each with 251 street parties. Only one party application has been approved by each of Cumberland Council, Herefordshire Council, Luton Borough Council, and Manchester City Council. Many councils have waived their usual street party fees for this weekend. All roads officially closed for coronation street parties in England are included in the figures, 1. Network said.